Hi there team, this is Chris Abraham from mteltestprep.com and private tutor, private math tutor k12.com. I wanted to share this open response problem that was on the general curriculum math subtest uh, last September, uh, September 2010. This is the parallel line problem. In this problem, I want you to read it over. Make sure you can read it fully. You have two parallel lines. You're given, you know, one of the angles, 23.2. You're told that this other angle is x. You're shown the student's work and their thinking to solve for x. And you're asked to critique the student's work, uh, looking for errors in uh, errors and misconceptions in their understanding of uh, this portion of mathematics or their understanding of angles. Take take a few minutes. Locate two errors in this student's work. These two errors are going to be the foundation of what you're going to write about in your open response. Take that moment now and then uh, press pause, take the time, then press unpause and we'll go into the two errors. Start now. Okay, you unpause me, which means we're going to jump into the problem. Uh, just a basic review. Uh, what happens when you have two parallel lines if M and N let's say were parallel and they were transversed by a third line that means intersected by a third line that would give me something called um, corresponding angles which means that this angle right here is the same as this one right here and vice versa this angle right here this X is the same as this one right here that's important that tells us that this one right here is 23.2 and this is x. And this forms a straight line. When we have two angles that form a straight line, um, we call them a straight line or straight angle. A straight angle and a straight line are uh, two angles, are, we call them supplementary angles. And that's, uh, these are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So a supplementary angle, let me just write it down for you so you have it. Equals, equals 180 degrees. Our student here confused supplementary angles because they said 23.2 plus x equals 90. They confuse supplementary angles with complementary angles. Complementary angles are when we have two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So if it was this, 23.2 plus x, and those both added up to 90 degrees, and I could tell it's 90 because my poorly shaped right, triangle, uh, right angle um, has a little square there, we would call this a sup, uh, complementary let me write that vocabulary in here so you have it. So right away, that's going to that's gonna, uh, throw off the student's numbers because it really should be 23.2 plus x equals 180 because we're dealing with supplementary angles. M um, error number two is an error in, if we look closely down here, it's an error in decimal uh, subtraction. Remember, we're trying to find these errors so we can talk about them. Decimal subtraction uh, here, it looks like when they came to here, they minus 0 minus 2 and got a 2. They did a reverse subtraction. Or they might not have known what to do with this, uh, how you subtract 2 from 0. So this does throw off. So what you'd have to do is model the correct way to do the subtraction. First of all, it would be 180. And we'd be doing 180 minus 23.2. How would I do this? Well, we're going to have to do some borrowing from the 1s and 10s column. Two, I can't subtract 2 from 0, and I can't borrow from this column. What I can do is I can cross out the 8, make that a 7, and bring over a 10 here. And now I can borrow from this 10 and make it a 9, and bring over a 10 here. 
Now I can do my subtraction. 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 3 is 6. Um, 7 minus 2 is 5, and we drop down the 1. So we really get for x 156.8 degrees. Now we could check our work, because remember, these two angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So I would just do on the side of my paper, uh, our two supplementary angles are 156.8 and 23.2. And when I add them up, I do get 180 degrees. Drop down that decimal. So these are two errors and misconceptions in the students' uh, mathematical thinking. They're confusing supplementary angles. They're, they're confusing complementary angles with supplementary angles. Um, the big idea is that when we have a straight line, it adds up to 180 degrees, not 90 degrees. And we call that a supplementary angles. Um, and the second error and misconception is with subtraction, spe specifically with decimal subtraction, not knowing what to do uh, with the uh, decimal point 0.2 and the subtraction problem. When you do your open response, I recommend keeping it simple. Identify the student's work, show or explain how you would have gotten the correct answer, and then give the correct answer. And make sure that you, in somewhere in your explanation, circle what the correct answer is so that you're not only showing and explaining, but you're also circle your answer so there's no confusion um, at the end of the day so the test taker can see what your work has. We're going to stop there. If you have any questions, please go to the website at mteltestprep.com or privatemathtutork12.com. Uh, we're going to have some more uh, MTEL general curriculum, MTEL workshops in, uh, in Cambridge at Harvard, in Harvard Square um, in January and February and March. So I, I hope that you can attend. And if you have any questions, you can also reach me at chrisdabraham at gmail.com. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.